camera's cringing at the 4x3 already. Hey there, my name is Jonathan, and welcome to Day 5 of Vita on Just Eyeball It. Also known as the video where we totally don't use the full power of our camera. So today I'm going to be doing my first book review ever, and I'm going to be reviewing a book that strikes home with a lot of people. The Fault in Our Stars. I feel like the way I'm saying that really doesn't do justice to it. So this book is funny and amazing and super happy and also one of the saddest books I've ever read. It's just beautiful. I actually cried reading this thing. Maybe not as much as most people, but I don't usually cry when I read books or watch movies. Spoiler alert! Some infinities are bigger than other infinities. And at the part where Augustus is just... I lost it there. That is definitely a scientific way to describe it. Now, I stayed up till 5 a.m. last night reading this because I am an insane person, and I think what I really took from this is just I appreciate being alive more. I also realized that Augustus reminds me of myself a lot. When I was in high school, I liked this girl. No, that's putting it really, really lightly. I fucking love that girl. Unfortunately, that never really developed anything. The fact remains, just like Augustus Waters, I did a lot of things out of metaphor. I remember making this drawing for her. It had something to do with number 22 or something. I don't even know what it was for. But I had like six different things, little mini details that no one would ever notice. They're all interconnected. I even gave it to her, I think, on like a day that matched with the full moon or something. I was like, what the <laughs> Long story short, I was the person in high school who was writing a novel. And part of me believed that metaphor was almost more important than life itself. The fact is I kind of sucked at expressing myself back then and I wouldn't have dated me either. But I'm kind of curious about this, this old side of me that used to be metaphorical about everything. This makes me want to read more and get into writing again. So I'm going to give The Fault in Our Stars by John Green five and a half walruses. It's a scale of one to five, by the way. It's that awesome. Bye! I literally have a half hour to edit this before I go to work. Vita, you are an insane mother. I didn't say anything, so I didn't have to bleep it out. Okay, I'm doing the live show tomorrow, and we're going to be announcing the contest winners, and I'm excited, and this is going to be read, and that's it. Bye.